ICC Midwest trying to make it two wins from two games here on match day one. Well, the ICC Regional All-Stars will come out in a 4-2-3-1. It's their second game ever played together. The first was this morning, the 1-0 victory. I comprised of the best four players. 25 minute halves here at the ICC Futures. These ladies in the under 15 division, born in 2005. Good win in midfield. Lauren Marugula. Celia Segura for Barcelona. Offside. Restart here for Barca. Barcelona very patient, building out of the back. ICC All-Stars to the Midwest, keep winning it in midfield. They turn here, Langley Mayers. Good job off her line, Mar Perez there just ahead. For the Nevada side, Sienna Barum and Baker gets it in. Finally bangs off the flag and out for a goal kick. Trying to shield, does get rid of it, but barely in time. Pull. Eva Kate Ryder wearing the number four. Number 19, Taylor Folk checking in. Slammed away by Fuster. These two teams in group three with PSG and ICC Midwest. Nice trying to get around the corner, but this time Aina Roman able to stay with her the entire way. <laughs> Marcia trying. Sally Cox couldn't come around it, and it sails well wide. this Heat FC squad in their second match coming up with a big 3-0 win over PSG. Barcelona with a 2-1 edge over ICC Midwest, so looks like it could come down to goal differential. Nice push by... About 13 minutes and change to go. Short almost pressures the ball free. She with Barcelona building out of the pressure. They did exactly that. It must have been at least a 12 or 13 pass sequence that got him on top of the 18 with an opportunity at goal. And Martina getting the goal. Barcelona starting slowly in this tournament. Every single game started the tournament slowly with a loss against PSG. Took a strong second half to knock off the Midwest Stars. Similar story, they had to come from behind against Heat FC. And there were times where it even looked, especially first half, that LAFC slammers were going to run away. But for a Barcelona team that tends to get stronger as the game progresses, an early start here today. Well off of her line, Fuster, but cut out by Galvez. And the Galvez eventually back to her keeper and they'll sweep it to the near side. And the one thing if you're PDA, if you're figuring out that the press doesn't work this high, can you find another spot in the field to press? Maybe a little bit deeper, condense the space behind so you don't have so much room to cover because eventually like we saw with LAFC last night, you're gonna get tired chasing the ball around. When they'll take their time. Uh, she looks to be all right. Out into the midfield, Cano. 
out wide, back to Norbesis. Kind of sweeps it again out far on that far. That's up all day. Yeah, she did have a runner. It was Riley Hayes out right. First young a little anxious. She did the hard work to get around the defender and then cut it to the middle of the field. She had options, but she went for the shot. Alexandra Bear. What a good opportunity for PDA. Looking to turn Rabimbus, unable to do so. Final seconds ticking away. They've come. Good ball, back post, and it's calmly covered up by Mar Perez. Nice work to cut back to her right foot by Isabella Diorio. Now this field for ICC. Off her line to claim, it's Marichelle Fuster. Barcelona, a goal down. It looked like it was all All-Stars early in the second half, but Barcelona, two straight goals. Magali Captavia was the goal scorer. I mentioned. Back for the goalkeeper. Patient under pressure. Doesn't matter what part of Barcelona's program. Second half underway. Barcelona have swung around, defending the goal towards the left. ICC on the other side holding on to a 2-0 lead over PSG. This score line here sees Heat FC up by one. That means Heat FC. Elke Travis has come in in goal in the second half for Heat FC. Mark Perez has done the same for Barcelona. Each team changing goalkeepers. Touching it forward, trying to not coming up through this system. Far side from Calderon. Tamara giving chase. It looks like midfield pickup for LAFC. There are two 25-minute halves. They are used to playing the 90, but some of these teams coming from off-season, trying to get the intensity as well, and the coaches seem to appreciate it. Launched into the 18, bounces up, and reaching back is Perez. She had Flores charging in, and that one almost went over. Oh, he had an angle here that thought that this was going over Perez's head. You see on the replay, she's retreating here, then she stops. Feet stop moving, then it makes it a bit more difficult to get back, but she deals with it nicely. Puts one hand up, pull it in. Sees Takana, dropping it back over to Tamata. Barcelona holding up against relentless pressure from the Slammers. A little giveaway here, though, from Martret, but she comes back to put out her own fire. That could be dangerous. Charging in, head booster. Well, they had something working there. It looked like for a run to that near post, and whoever was supposed to make it didn't make it. Shane Gordon looks a little frustrated at that. Yeah. Well, they were working on something. You saw the initial run over the ball. Roman. Little stutter step in the midfield. Gets to the inside. Well anticipated by Miner. Bounces up. Good off giving chase, gets the touch, but too much on it. We'll carry it all the way back to Fooster, who will 
grab hold. You know, Phil, back to that restart, how many times do we see in a normal game with only three substitutions where a sub is made and a few minutes later there's a restart and there's a missed assignment because you've just come in the game. You can just think about it now when you've got, you know, 12 or 14 total substitutions throughout the game and someone's going to miss an assignment here or there. Saw a little bit of that in the earlier game with Benfica against Barcelona where players not sure what to do on a corner kick, but Benfica survived. Millen. Boy, McMahon had the energy to make one last run forward and Bidoff decided to push it past the defender. Or McMahon may have been an option to her left. Booster anticipates well though. You're at that moment, Phil, in the game where managers have to start thinking about who can they get in for the penalty kick shoot? Nothing. Avia. Captavia was impressive last night when she came on as a substitute. Driving it in right on the fingertips and almost overrunning it, Fuster. And we'll see now what Nick Heinemann does, the coach of PDA, to change the tactics a little bit. He's sticking with this high press. Again, you have to remember that for... PDA, this is the start of their season. Last year was a phenomenal one. Went unbeaten 32-0. Outscored the opposition 216-19. Edging LAFC Slammers in the final. But they had an issue against the Slammers in the group stage here. And they are being torn apart by Barcelona. Spinning away, Garcia, nice move. Tries to sneak it inside. Rabimba's pushing to the front line, but dispossessed by Bessis. What a good spin out that was here. Dangerous ball played across the face of the goal for Barcelona, but sticking to their principles about building out of the back at all cost. Well, Tony, back in your playing days, there's the saying, it doesn't matter how you start, it's how you finish. And Barcelona's been getting better game by game. Coming up, Corsion, edge of the area, maybe just inside. Looked like there was contact with Roman. Well, actually surrendered a penalty to Heat FC earlier. Lifted forward, Mark Rabimbas stops, but stripped at the last moment as Poe coming through, and Rabimbas looks like talking to herself because she yeah. didn't get much conversation from her teammates. See how Barcelona builds out here. Look at this. Goalkeeper playing the ball backwards. Rabimbas on that attack. Through a double team. I think her frustration is coming now. A little indecisive on that play, but she's doing a lot of running in the middle of the field during this press. Rolled out wide by Poe. Uville looking for Captavila. Scott over, and she'll just... Mission sending it along. Garcia trying to get the engine started, but the ball sails all the way back to the Barca keeper. Sensing a little frustration up top from PDA that they're not getting service. We'll have to figure that out at halftime. Nick Heinemann's got his work cut out for him here with this. Ooh, oh, sweet that, touch. Captavila almost finds Marzette, but cut out by her counterpart, Marone. <laughs> Trying to pull the ball down. Maria Calderon. Really well done again. Bujols. Like line is producing. Over to the far side, Mar Perez getting a little fortunate, almost stolen away. I was just about to say, PDA is going to want to have Rebembus on the ball a bit more than she's been. I still think that to be the case, as well as number six, Cassidy Corsione, on this left side. Change for PDA, Cheyenne McLeod coming back in at that left back position. Had a good game last night. A little bump from behind is... Second half of the morning game, the one nothing win. And it's ICC Futures opening match against Heat FC of Nevada. Again, we see Mar Perez off her line in the Barca goal.
but a wide range of cities across the Midwest. St. Louis, Scott Gallagher, one of the biggest clubs in the Midwest, have produced a lot of professional players, both men. Amelia Van Zanten with the restart. Aina Roman, the substitute. All played through again. Confident goalkeeping. Sweeper keeper, Mar Perez, off her line again. Three or four times, out of her box. As a fifth defender for Barcelona. Nice help in midfield. Nina Poe, one of the highlighted stars before the match from the Barcelona coaching staff. Left in the first half. Lawrence will play Paris Saint Germain and Barcelona will play Heat FC of Nevada. The go ahead goal from Magali Captavilla, and that's where we stand 2 1 to FC Barcelona. Turnover. Barcelona very confident, high press from ICC All-Stars. And they win it back. One back again. Turning top of the box. Partially clear. Cycled out to the left to the left. Another cross block still alive for the All-Stars. Another hard tackle. Corner kick coming. Kaylee McPherson. Dangerous ball back across the face of the defense. It's nearly spilled here for the ICC All Stars. Back pass. And no one pressure in the goalkeeper, Fuster. A very dangerous. It was played to the middle. It was won by Grace Jackson of the Midwest All Stars. She was nearly on to goal. in the middle by Noah Bessis and she will retreat keeping Barca pinned back in their own end the far side Isabella Parasa again but it gets away and Barcelona will retreat and regroup Many of them will slide up to the senior side before too long. Keep trying to push up the middle, but stolen away to get the ball forward, but unable to do so. So with the throw in now looking up field. One nothing scoreline on the penalty. Almost added a second on the great free kick by Leva, but 
denied by an even better save by Michelle Fuster. For the most part, well, Barca has teased in the 18. They have been unable to actually get a clear chance. Another chance here for Heat, but trying to rush the shot with Barcelona. Maybe one and a tie break might be good enough. See Sibylla Perasa on this near side of the 24, pushing up the line, keeping an eye on the number nine, Magali Captavila, the dangerous attack that helped in Ryder. Through ball, well off of her line, Perez. And she finds the captain, Bessis. Where's the number eight, but plays like that Barcelona at number five. Always out wide for Ryder, pushing it forward, coming out of her area. Perez just to slam it away. Trying to settle in the center circle, Folk, but trickles through. Leva giving chase back in time as Basis, who has dropped deeper onto that back line. Garcia back out there after that hard hit in the first half. Number 23 in black. Strong from Newby. Back for Kamada. Into the middle for Kubo. Galvez. Perez. Bessis up the line. Newby with the touch. A little room to roam. Wide for Ali Cox, but her skills for a different kind of football. The number 14 for Heat. Down towards the Barca net. Perez. And again, Barcelona will not blast it forward, but for last defense. Trying to thread it into the attack. And Cano back. Now Kubo. Olivia Lester anticipates. Perez. 1-1 one, one here, still 2-0. ICC Midwest with the lead against PSG. Looks like ICC Midwest about to win the group. But still about nine minutes left to play. A little rain starting to sprinkle in. The clouds have been above all day. The wind as well. Carasa stepping to the inside. Still alive. Kamada trying to knock it free. Near side, Captavila. Good read by Newby. She slides to the inside. Tries to play it square. Top of the box. But just back in time, Lorena Kubo. Will there be a winning goal? Just over five minutes to go. Four, which is behind ICC South, who got their first victory. Seven nothing. Did get a win as well, in a penalty shootout, but 7 nothing over Manchester City earlier today. Newby again steps up to win it, but the ball rolls to Kamada. Weaving her way through the midfield, lifting it towards goal, and on a hop into Mar Perez's chest. 4-3-3 from the Slammers. 2019 UCNL champions going 14-0 through that season. Barcelona... Meanwhile, one of the powerhouses of European women's football. Team that Billy saw Flores early cutting to the middle with the clear intention of the type of player that she is. Marquette passing it off, and there is Bessis. I think you said to me prior to this game, watch Bessie. She is the Iniesta of this team. She plays in that. With an eye towards setting up her teammates. Yeah, but She'll stretch that back four, occupy the two center backs. 
Yeah, nice run here. She's also very good with the ball at her feet. Perez. Near side, Pujols. Back to Perez. Looking up the middle and electing to go wide for Pujols again. Slotting in for Camada. This is nicely done here by Barcelona early. Connell through the midfield, calm and composed. And again, they'll switch it side to side. We saw it with the boys earlier today. We've seen it with Barcelona's seniors. With that back post, couldn't steer it back across goal. Now stepping up to poke it free, but right back to Lorena Cubo. Calderon keeps it moving. Aina Roman out on that far right flank. And for Bessis, who gets slammed to the turf, advantage played. Little slip of Bessis there to snuff out the blunder. Back to Perez in goal. There's a little higher pressure here from LAFC. Pressure from Dimri. Forcing the clearance, doesn't get past Flores, but her shot goes wide, deflected. And again, that press causing Barca problems. Yeah, and the one thing you don't want to do is turn over the ball to Flores here. The poor clearance out ends up with Flores and may have been going wide anyway, but LAFC earns a corner kick here, up, not missing by much. Back in for Perez, but it crossed the goal line. A little sloppy from Barca and a gift of a corner. Yay in the final group stage game. If they had not won that, they would not be here. They needed to win outright. Calderon far side. Roman looking north. Slips away from Maya and Henley. Here's Kamada. Starting to look a little more confident. She's come off the bench in recent games, but gets the start here in the middle today. Pujols, Marquette. But not really been able to get it to Segura in the middle. Stripped away, Dimri tries to cut wide. Marquette using her speed to come back, and she sees a trickle of Biddle, Biddle, youngest player, one of the youngest players on this team. Looks like Marimbo Flores has come over to the right-hand side of the field now. Trying to settle Flores, drawing Kamada out. Ball gets stuck though as she tries to pass it and Bessie's trying to take off. Pressured, she gets rid of it. Cano it slips away and Pujols will be forced to retreat. Kamada not that comfortable but she does well. Sweeping it across for Calderon. The center back pushing forward. ICC West and PDA to come. This one still. Can you run the player in between two center backs? Maybe slip one through, be more successful. And that ball over the top has not worked for Barcelona. Galvez back to her keeper who sends it right back up the middle to Kubo. The 17s coming to game, as you mentioned, Captavia. She's been pretty active in the middle of the field. Ex Espanol player now playing for the rivals. Gets stomped on far side. Nothing intentional. Play on. They'll swing it into the middle. Barcelona also with a tactical switch. They've moved Kubo up into the midfield, and Bessis has dropped to the back line. Finding Merichel Fuster. That's a good ball played out here. Uh, just, just skips away. Much more composed from Barcelona in the second stanza. 45th minute ticking to a close. Five to go. Booster on a dime. Trying to turn Fernandez. And turning it. Fernandez. Very well done. Now that in the circle. And up steps McMahon. But she leaves it for Poe. And now McMahon giving chase. 
and she gets the help from Jessica Fernandez. Gorgeous day for football in Bradenton. BDA in the sky blue and Barcelona in their familiar Blaugrana chasing it down on that far flank Fuster as it crosses the goal line. A little bit of a situation at the start of this one. The fact that the yellow jerseys on both goalkeepers but PDA able to find a backup kit for their starting netminder Rebecca Kessler and we are underway. Bill Shane and Tony Miola looking on. Keep an eye for Corsione on that far flank. She'll drop it back but taken away. First touch for the semi-final hero Nina Poe. Still a couple of things to look for here early on. You see an early long ball by PDA putting it in Barcelona's half of the field and going immediately to pressure. How does Barcelona deal with the pressure from this side? We saw last night they grew into the game. And what happened to LAFC Slammers last night is I think eventually they got tired chasing the ball. This is a very technical side to midfield. They like the play and sort of the way we've all come to know Barcelona style of play. Bess is with that touch there. She's the, the catalyst in the middle of the field. They try and wear you down with the ball. Nice by Captavila, threading it forward. Martret, who got the start, back to Captavila, slapped away, rebound, knocked home! Opening goal just two minutes in. Noah Bessis into the 18, looking for the equalizer, but poked back to the keeper. And again, Barcelona style, they'll play it out of the back. And they will play out of all spaces on the field. Well, let me ask you this. You've been a coach, you've been a player, you've seen this Barcelona squad. What does PDA have to do? Because they're trying to press, they can't catch up to the ball. Yeah, at the moment, you can rely on one of picking one or two off. This is the second one now that they do pick off. And you've, got to, you've got to make the most of it when you have it. But you don't want to continuously just chase the ball. Individuals chasing and running after one player, then running after another player when the ball moves. You've got to do it in an organized fashion. And if you're half a step late, that's when things break down. So you have to make a decision at some point if you think it can work. Now, Phil, it is early, so I don't know that you go and change all that much from what you thought was going to work because you really haven't settled into any mode of play at the moment of the PDA. Although in the back of their head they're wondering, at the moment they're chasing the game. This is the best we've seen Barcelona come out of the gate. Stepping up, Emma Galvez swings it far side. Nina Poe. Back into the middle as they try and draw PDA out and open the lanes. Noah. Judith Pujols. The inside pass closes down, so she pushes it wide. In Barcelona's box, the right side of their box. Into the center circle. Now Barca building from the back. 12th minute nearing a close. Take another look. Was this a penalty? Corsione. Oh, she got bundled over. She loses control here, but as the defender, Anna Roman, goes down, did she catch her on the back of the heels would be the question. Nice touch by Rabimbas, but Barcelona quickly closes in. 25-minute halves. So 50-minute game. Straight to penalties if it's level. PDA has its work cut out for them. Still a lot of time to play. Midway point of this opening half. Driving it forward. Pulled out of midair. Nice. The New Jerseyans outscoring the opposition 8-4. Barcelona barely squeaking to the positive at 4-3. But all that matters is that you're ahead at the final whistle. Well, there's goals in this PDA side. There's no doubt about it. In talking to just about everyone in and around. Watching the, the girls play this front four, which includes... Kayla Wong, everyone says about as good a front four as you're going to find anywhere, Phil. Almost got on the end of it. it was Kennedy Garcia. And he has those set plays where they might have the chance to cut the lead in half. But that one looked a little rushed to me. Still didn't seem like PDA was set up to have their runners in the box. Maybe a bit of nerves setting in at the moment. A side that's not used to being down 2-0 generally. So now they'll have to keep their emotions in control here. 
have faith in what they're doing. Fifth game in five days. Yeah, the legs will get heavy, even though they are shorter games, but you've got the traveling to and from. You know, recovery becomes a big part of it, but both sides are dealing with it. Ten minutes or so left to go in this opening half. Again, Barcelona looking to frustrate PDA. PDA can't just lay back. They have to step forward and try and force an errant pass, but that then opens them up. The one thing I, w I notice here from front to back from their top player. Miss hit by Poe. Fighting to get it back. And there's Captavila. <laughs> A nice bit of skill. Corsione forcing it into the 18. Stripped. Kennedy sees it poked away. Good 1v1. One one. He's defending. And Montrette shielding. Nice move by Montrette. Now down the line. Reveal the goal. Garcia quickly closing down. That's good pressure. Steps in to win the ball. Still loose, but Barcelona sweeps it across. Hard to win a one-player press. Calderon goes out the other side. But that pressure was better because as Kennedy Garcia pressured the goalkeeper, she took the complete middle of the field out. She did get a piece of it. It ends up going to Emma Galvez. But that could easily have gone anywhere. And again, Fuster sometimes maybe taking chances other goalkeepers wouldn't. And Garcia almost able to capitalize. I mean, think about the theory of Barcelona. I don't know that they look at it as a chance, more as an opportunity to continue to build out with one extra player. True. Using your goalkeeper. Pops up on Captavila, but she hops back in time. In for Bessie, says it's a game of keep away. And you know, Phil, we, we, I think you and I, and, and probably a lot of people watching this competition, fail to forget as we're watching this that you're dealing with 14-year-olds sometimes because uh -huh. we we're looking at the level of play. And you're okay. If you're a manager, you should be okay with eventually going to make a mistake. Oh, sweet touch. Will it hold? The ball back inside by Pujols. Fed again by Martret. The left back trying to thread it forward to the front line. Martret gets it on the right foot, drags across, shut down the fucker. It's the biggest argument is having managers and having clubs and having, quite honestly, having parents and that, that understand that that's what it's going to take. And you talk about the parents who could put the pressure on the clubs and they might talk the game that wins don't matter. <laughs> Ball swept across, Kamada. Again, as you said, on that right side getting tangled. I've seen her play three positions on that back line. Right back against Heat FC and the two center back positions, as you mentioned. She does have the speed, does have the positioning, but sometimes her passing has been suspect. Looking, will do that to you. Well, you're chasing the ball an awful lot. But PDA sticking with this press right now. Maybe they've made an adjustment on how they're going to organize the press. Andrea Cano also in the midfield as Nina Poe taking a seat for the moment. Now look at Betsy's just directing everyone before the ball even got to her. The young yeah. American who's playing there at this tournament. Of course, we've seen it at the senior level in so many different variations. Chance for Wong, but can't get the ball through. Betsy's playing some defense. Golden Boot, each with three. Barry with two, and Captavila, Magali Captavila, also with two. Maybe a chance to grab that if they can find the net in the second half. Ball driven far side. It's switch and goal as well, and a reverse of last night. Fuster out, Mark Perez in, and Perez quickly. She made that first touch. She had a little bit of cleanup work to do. After she got some pressure put on her here, but Barcelona once again picks this one out and back on the attack with some patience. Nice by Roman to the inside. Segura. Sure and safe feet that time. One tactical change that happened for some type of call. Rolled out for Kamada. Pulls it back for her keeper. 
Martina is stepping up to try and press and almost steals it away. They need something to go their way soon. 38th minute almost done. 12 left to go. Perez. Under pressure, Kamada. Nice from Roman, but no, stolen away. Corsion sweeps it in front. Diving header Garcia, but just out of reach. Well, they got one turnover there that led to... Back for Perez. Both teams ready to make a switch. Noah Bessis under pressure. Kamada pops up. A little bump and out. Throw in PDA. It's going to be a nice battle here between Bessis and Garcia late. Ooh. That one almost knocked into the danger zone by Barcelona. Corsion pushing forward. Important touch there by Ana Roman because at that back post, as you mentioned, was Corsion. Celia. Back into the middle. Nice turn by Cano. Cano a little bit behind Mark Threat. Feeds it back. Champing at the bit is Henley. They find her. Getting back to the inside of Roman back out wide. The PDA putting Barcelona to pressure. Again trying to win it in the midfield. Stepping up Martinez. Leaves it for Wong. Roman in the way. Another crack from distance by Martinez blocked. Raquel Captavila off the give and go. Henley cuts inside of McLeod, drives back outside. Martret on her inside if she can find her, and she does. Martret, one touch.